Let us pray. Lord, thank you once again for these verses that we read, Lord. May you give us your wisdom and your understanding as we study your word, Lord. Make us not just hear us of your word, Lord, but the verse as well. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's, let's all take our seats. So that was the story. So my role brothers and sister is to, you know, use that story as a as a lesson for all of us, a, a life lesson. Because from that story alone, we can we can learn a lot. Amen. Amen. We can learn a lot from that from that story. Because uh, this month is a, a month of our theme was commitment and encouragement. So that's why you know when when I was looking for the message to you know for, for today, you know I, I found this I think this the word that, that is very helpful to, to, to us. Because it is a, a a very wonderful story that a tragedy turned into into a, a, a victory. So what I will do first is to, is to go back to the whole story and give us a uh, you know how how could it be uh, what what it can relate to us how can it, it be used for our practical use in, in our own life because we know that uh, we all have we all experience this sometimes right like maybe some of you are in this situation right now and they are in a tragedy but you know. This message today is something that will help all of us if we are undergoing this in this, in this situation. So if I go back to that verses that we just read, which is a lot, it's a whole chapter. So one one that I, I can see brothers and sisters in that story was that you know sometimes we, we are you know overtaken by a lot of, of problems one after another. If I, you, you, have, you are dealing with one problem, then suddenly another one comes comes along. And this is what happened to David. When he was there, he was going home. They just had their uh, victory. They just had their victory. They just had, uh, they were just going to a battle, right? And then they were going home, and they are probably very excited. Because wow, we're, we're, we're home, we see our family, right? So they were all, umbaga, they were all excited to, to go home. So just like us, right, when we, we, we're done with our work and then we go home, we're so excited. And it's the same, they have the same feeling, they're going home. Or maybe some of you are going to go back to the Philippines, right? Are you excited? Yeah, so. Brothers and sisters, you can see that's the that's the feeling. That's the feeling. However, uh, while on their way, they don't realize it, that there is a problem that is that is happening. And even us, we we sometimes go into a situation that we thought na it's okay, everything is going well, but some in some other place, something wrong is going on. So that we have uh, one problem after another. So in this case, brothers and sisters, in in if you check in 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 the verse that we just read in verses uh, three and four, yun nga na when they come home, they were waiting for their wives to run and you know give them a kiss or you know the girls dancing in the street to receive the victory, right? But uh, there's none. They were so quiet. And then they were looking for the kids playing in the grass on the on the street, and they were gone. And then uh, they were waiting for the smell of the food, right? So remember when you go home? Like I remember when when I used to go to school. When I get home, I can smell the food when I go home. My mom is cooking, right? And you 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 know that, right? The brothers and sisters, when they when they were there, they don't smell the food. They smell the burning. You know, the houses are burning, and uh, everything was gone. Their wives are gone. Their children are gone. All they can see was that you know of, of smoke, 
and that destroy homes. So that, did it happen to you, brother? Sometimes in your own life, you were expecting something of a, you know, when you get home, it would be good news, right? Or time to relax, and then suddenly you are met with a, a, a bad news. It's so sad, right? Uh, I remember when I was in, in the Philippines, I was working, I was so tired, and oh, finally it's a weekend, right? And then when I went home, my, my cousin was so quiet, he was, because we were living in an apartment, I was working about them. They were so quiet, and we just ate, the day I was so happy, because it's a weekend, right? And they were so quiet, and then after we ate, then my cousin told me the story. Maybe, siguro, para wala ko, wala ko pass out. Maybe, so that I won't pass out when I heard the news. And I heard that my dad passed away, so. So, brothers and sisters, sometimes, there, it happens in our life where we, we are, uh, we are expecting something good, but suddenly, there's bad news that, that's happening. And you know what happened? Those people, those uh, warriors, you know, they were strong men. Mga house. Was ating macho, di ba? But you see here, brothers and sisters, in uh, verse 4, he said, So David and his men wept aloud until they had no more strength to weep. Can you imagine, uh, you know, a warrior, a, a big guy, crying? So, brothers, I think uh, there's one, one side of life that we don't see. I think like all of us cry, right? Do you agree? Yeah. I think everyone cries. I don't believe that however strong you are, if you are uh, met with a very bad news, uh, seriously bad news, you will really cry. That only shows our, our humanity. We are not the heart of stone. We still have the human in us. We, have, we still have that emotion. We still have that feeling of love and want to be loved, right? So that was the feeling, brothers. And if we continue in, in the story, after they wept, then they start to blame. You know, in verse 5, you will see verse 6. God, David was so distressed. Now he is so distressed because, you know what? The people are now mad at him. They're mad at him. They want to stone him. Siguro sabi nila, oh, because David uh, sent us to battle over there and we left our, 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 our wives and our kids and now they're gone. So they started the blame game. Like one is blaming another. So, brothers and sisters, in, in real life, something even in our life, it happens, right? It's not just us being blamed that somebody, maybe we did something but yeah, we did not do it. Or it's not our fault but somebody blames us. Or maybe you think that somebody did something to you and you blame him or her, right? So brothers and sisters, I can't imagine yung how, how sad David was. See, this is, these are the people that he trusted. These are his, his friends. And now they became his enemies. So did you have a few brothers and sisters? You have a friend. And because of some something, situation that happened that you think is not your fault, suddenly they're now blaming you. So brothers and sisters, it is this a lesson for us that, you know, in life, this happens. This is, kumbaga, ito yung buhay. People will blame you sometimes. That's 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 reality. And there may also be times where you will blame somebody. And maybe that's not his fault. However, brothers and sisters, there is one quality of David that is so uh, amazing. He was so distressed, but you know, David, 
he found his strength in the Lord, his God. So if you read that verse in verse 6, he found his, his strength in the Lord. Because probably they would think that, you know, you know, whatever happens to me, God is there to help me. So maybe, brothers and sisters, in, in this situation, we can learn from David that sometimes if we are in that situation where it's so, we are being blamed or we are in this situation, we can always find strength to God. Amen? Amen. Sabi nga, we, we have to encourage ourselves. Because, you know, some people, when they become discouraged, they just bury their head in the sand and give up. Right? And we know people who uh, they can, I mean, because of that distress, they can take it and They just jump. Just like uh, yeah, I told this story before, there was, a, there was, you know, that story in the bridge. This guy wanted to jump, and the other guy was trying to help. Uh, you know, don't jump. Uh, don't jump. Let's stop. Let's stop. And so the other guy went to the bridge and they talked for a long time and talked for a while. Then after a while, both of them jumped to the bridge. So <laughs> brothers and sisters, you know, like, sometimes life is so discouraging. But you know what? What was the message? If you have, when you are in a situation, sometimes even a friend wouldn't help. But you know, we can find our strength with God, amen? David did not 